Representative Wilford Carter for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Schlager, I, I don't want you to take this wrong way because uh, you have been very, most of the hand, bill handlers have been very patient and, and answering, trying to answer our questions. And uh, if you notice, most of the questions been asked in these series of bills, these criminal reform bills, have been mostly asked by Democrats, okay? And, and your bill increased punishment, like all most of the bills we've been hearing, and your bill talks about serious injury, for example. And, and serious injury is not defined in the bill. But in, it, it, I, I, is it defined in the bill? It's, just, it's defined in the statute of 14, right. yeah. So, so the bill refers to uh, 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 code, the 14, uh, revised statute 14? Right, and so in code, uh, if you want me, the I criminal have the definition code, the if you want no, me No, to. but most of the time, as I understand it, is in your bill, it says serious injuries. But in, in, in a lot of the cases where it's enhanced punishment for serious injuries defined as uh, uh, a person losing consciousness, uh, being uh, injury to a serious injury to a loss of a limb, a uh, 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 threat of life. Okay, so so that's how it's defined in many of the statutes. So that's how you'll be able to define serious injury. Right. So I think. I mean. So my understanding is that definition in um, Title 14 would apply for the serious okay. bodily injury. So so if a person pulls a, a lady out of a car, a carjacker, and she hits her head. Okay, and she sustained some injuries to her head. So the statute that defines what is serious injury will apply. So she have to have unconsciousness. She have to have a threat of life, loss of life, and or loss of limb. That sort of thing. All right. And these, this bill, as all the other bills, correct me if I'm wrong, they intended to to correct the problem in Louisiana of high crime. Correct. I, I noticed the governor spoke about three cities in the in the state that has. Uh, in the top ten in the uh, in the in the criminal uh, uh, top ten cities in the state in the country, so you're trying to address this problem. Yes. So, so what about this bill? What makes you think that if you increase uh, incarceration, you're going to reduce crime? What 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 evidence do you have? What study do you have? Uh, that would show that if you increase crime, uh, incarceration, a violation of, of the criminal code, that you would reduce crime. I don't, I don't see how you get that, where it comes from. Well, Judge Carter, I know you probably heard me talking to Rep. Willard and answering that question. I do believe that when you hold people accountable, um, those are things. So, so what we've been doing the last eight years is not, obviously, has helped because crime has just gotten worse. And I know specifically in my area, you can't turn on the TV without hearing of another incident of carjacking. What I'm saying is I agree with you that we do have problems with crime in this state. Well, you know we've been for a long time one of the, the highest incarcerated population in the world per capita. Did you know that? I have heard that, yes. Yeah. At one time, I think they still are. Louisiana is the highest incarcerated population per capita in the whole world, not just in the United States, okay, in the whole world. But yet, with all this incarceration we have, do we still have, is there any relationship to the incarceration, to the reduction of crime in Louisiana? There apparently is not. Well, I could say when you have three of the most dangerous cities in the country, you're probably going to have the highest incarceration rate just because you have the three most dangerous cities. So I would think that those two would go hand in hand. But you don't address it. You're trying to address it by increasing incarceration, and one don't relate to the other, what I'm trying to t but, but my, my point is, do you recognize, uh, you seem to think that if you incarcerate more people, you will, you will reduce crime. And that's not how it works in no study that I've seen. No study. Uh, so I'm just curious whether or not you got benefit of a study I don't have. I do have benefit of a study that was done in, uh, and I want to know if you know about this study, that was done in Europe, and I think it's Italy, where when a person is incarcerated, the first thing they do is send them to a facility. Is this a question? Or? Yeah, this is a question. I want okay. to know if you know about this study. Okay, this study relates to your bill. I do not. Uh, you, I you're trying to reduce question, crime. I do not know about your you're study. You're trying to reduce crime. I'm trying to reduce crime, okay? We both... 
are interested in the same thing, the reduction of crime. Uh, my disagreement with you is, and I'm trying to get, if you've done the study that I've done, because I've been looking at this criminal thing for quite a long time, and, and I want to share this with you to see if you know about this study, that the first thing they do is find out why this person got in, in, uh, in a criminal violation of the law. Did he have a problem as a childhood? Did he, was, did he have Is there another training? question for me? Or, because I already I'm told you, you I, don't, know, I do not know about the, I do not. You don't know about the study? I do not. Okay. And, and so you believe, but you cannot tell me why you think crime is going to go down if you increase incarceration. You can't tell me why. I, I do believe that's why I'm carrying the bill. What's your basis to believe that, what I'm saying? What is your basis to believe that works? It hadn't worked in the, in the past 50, 75 years in the state. Uh, what's your basis of believing that? Because I believe when you hold people accountable, I think it's both. You deter crime, and then you also hold people accountable. Just well, somebody gets murdered, you, it's also a punishment, okay. right? So, There's both. You're okay, trying so to deter back. people from murdering, but you're also punishing the murderer for murdering. I agree that punishment has to be part of, of the criminal of our, our uh, correction of crime. I, I'm, we're not disagreeing with that. But the amount of punishment don't necessarily relate to the reduction of crime, is all I'm saying. Now, do you know how many uh, people incarcerated in Louisiana right now? I do not. Over 31,000 people, okay? State, under state law, okay? You know what percentage the black population is in Louisiana? I do not. 33 percent, oh, yes, 33.45%, okay? You know how many blacks are incarcerated in, 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 uh, in Louisiana prison? What percentage? I do not. 62%. So are, are you suggesting, are you not suggesting by your bill that blacks commit more crime so they're going to increase crime so they be incarcerated longer? So, so uh, what are you suggesting by the, by the bill? I am not suggesting any of that. What I'm suggesting is that in my area, carjacking is a huge issue. And I know the people I represent want me to address this issue, and that's what I'm doing. Along with, I think most of the state wants us to address this issue. You have any idea what would be the increased cost of the whole package of bills we're doing? I mean, it's, it's the government's package. The whole package of bills, you have an idea what, how much more it would cost the Department of Correction to carry out all these bills we're doing? Well, I've not calculated everybody's fiscal note, but what I'll tell you is if people don't commit crime, then there will be no cost. But there is a huge cost when they do, like Linda Fricke, who lost her life when she was uh, trapped with the car, or someone who was actually ran over with the car and had to learn how to walk. That's what I'm trying to address here, that those instances don't happen anymore. And I, I agree with you with it. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just trying to find out how you come up with the conclusion, and you can't, apparently cannot tell me with the fact that if you increase incarceration, we're already the highest incarcerated people in the world uh, per capita, we're going to reduce our crime when our crime is still high. We need to do something. Maybe we need to try something else. Well, I agree. We, we need to hold people accountable, and we also need to love them enough to help. I'm, I also care about issues like that with education and mental health. So, do you know how but much it's got to be both. You can't just, they're not mutually exclusive. You got to do both. Do you know how much of the state budget is, is devoted to uh, rehabilitation? Uh, or to finding out why people go to jail in the first place, what, what caused them to commit crime. You know, you got any uh, information studies the, on that? I do not know the financial on that. Uh, so, but I do know we, just, we passed JRR right to invest in all of these things. Do you know what percentage of Louisiana prisoners are, uh, have a rehabilitation uh, program while they're incarcerated? Some type of rehabilitation or finding out why they, they, they get, got incarcerated in the first place. Know what percentage we have of, 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 of inmates, Louisiana inmates, that are, that are attempted some type of rehabilitation? What percentage that is? I do not, but I'm a big believer in reentry court. My husband brought it to Jefferson Parish, so I'm a big believer in that too. One percent. You know, do, you know, do you know how many, how many uh, state prisoners are incarcerated in parish jails? What percentage of the, of the prison population is incarcerated in state institution or a parish jail? I do not know that information. Well, do you know that most of the, the prisoners, state prisoners, are incarcerated in parish jails? And they don't get no rehabilitation. They don't get nothing but they be getting paid for a head for be, be locked up, which I'm all in favor of locking people up and do wrong. So I'm just trying to give you some ideas as to that this is not going to solve our problem. We still going to be the number one incarcerated uh, uh, people in the whole in the whole world, and we're not going by doing this going to reduce our uh, uh, violations any much Th at all. Thank you, Judge Carter. So I guess you're a no on this.
Representative Marcel. For